What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Mass360 YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a high level demo of what it's going to look like to manage and secure Windows laptops and desktops within the Mass360 portal here. Let me know in the comment section below what types of content you want to see going forward regarding Mass360 MDM UEM solutions and we will make it happen. Like this video if you like this type of content subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified three to four times a week when we're posting new videos on this channel to help you become a better IT admin when you're managing your devices with Mass360. Let's get started here. Let's pop into devices. And before I do that, I'm going to do a separate video speaking to the different, the different enrollment programs available for Windows machines, autopilot out of the box, bulk provisioning tool, CMT, coexistence, and our standard enrollment by pushing down a URL to these devices. I'll do a separate video speaking in depth about those programs. So look out for that in the coming weeks. I will say that 50% of all Windows laptops and desktops today, whether you're using Mass360, another MDM, UEM solution, are typically enrolled in autopilot and out of the box, 50%. Once those devices are successfully enrolled into Mass360, they're gonna populate on this device inventory page here, giving you complete visibility and control over those devices. In terms of what you can see and do to a specific device, let's pop into a Windows 10 desktop. Whether it's Windows 7, 10, 11, we support all versions of Windows within Mass360. Summary page, this is just your basic information on the device. You can see that it is corporate owned. You have the workplace and security information here. These are a few of the policies, important policies that have been pushed down to that device from the admin on the Mass360 account. As you can see here, everything is green. You're good to go. This user employee is compliant with all policies that have been pushed down into that device. If they weren't, these green dots will be red. And you would wanna put some attention on that to get that employee and device within compliance. Basic information here, you could get more granular in the dropdown, hardware and OS. I have lots of clients for asset management purposes. They need visibility into the battery life of a specific device, the storage space, the operating system details and the version of that specific machine. And if you scroll to the bottom here, you'll be able to see any installed OS patches for security or other on that specific machine. Endpoint, secure, endpoint security, excuse me. This is gonna give you an overview on the firewall antivirus and anti-spyware solutions on this specific machine. Now it's important to note, Mass360, we're not bringing these solutions to the table. You would have to have these solutions on your own licenses to use them. But we are gonna show you here, if they're running, when they were installed, and all the way on the right here, when the last scan ran, for both endpoint security and data protection solutions. Apps installed, pretty intuitive. These are all application solutions installed on this specific device. On the right here, you can see app source. If it comes from the Windows public app store or not store, maybe it's executable, MSI, downloadable. You would see that here. And I have lots, again, lots of IT admins for asset management purposes. They like to pull reports of all solutions installed on specific devices, you can pull that down here on the bottom right, either a CSV or an Excel file for reporting purposes. Groups, groups are super important. You could click on a video above my head where I talk in depth about why all of my clients take advantage of groups within Mass360. You could see what groups this specific device belongs to. Again, more granular, within the dropdown. If there's anything within the, this dropdown you wanted to learn in a bit more detail that I did not cover, let me know in the comment section below and I will make that happen on a future video. Upper right hand corner, 
These are the actions you could take on a device. The most popular actions amongst my clients are locate when it comes to managing and securing Windows laptops, desktops, or locate, wipe, selective wipe, start, stop, restart. And I don't have Team Viewer currently turned on on my portal. But if I did, there would be a button here that says initiate remote support. We'll talk about that in a minute. Locate, if you click locate, this is going to provide real-time location of where that device is the last time it checked in to the network. If for some reason you'd rather have a breadcrumb trail of where that laptop has been over the past few days, you could click on location information here on the dropdown. And on the left-hand side, it's going to provide that breadcrumb trail. Wipe and selective wipe. What is the difference? And I put videos on the YouTube channel speaking to these. You can click on them above my head right here on a high level. Wipe is permanent factory reset, keyword permanent. If a device is stolen, you as an IT admin on the Mass360 account, you're going to want to click wipe here. It's going to permanently put that device into factory reset mode. And everything that was pushed down to that device is permanently removed. So your corporate information is protected going forward. If it's not stolen, let's say it is misplaced or lost. You're not going to wipe that device. You're going to selective wipe that device. That's going to pull off all the apps, docs, email, network configurations that were pushed down to that device from the admin on the Mass360 account. And keyword here, it's not permanent. It's temporary and reversible. So let's say that employee later finds their device. They're going to let you know there will be a button here below selective wipe. It says revoke selective wipe. All you have to do is click revoke selective wipe. And all of that corporate data that was pulled off automatically gets pushed down back into that device. You as an IT admin don't have to sit down, manually set up, and configure that device for that employee. Super simple. Start, stop, restart services. Think of this as remote task manager for an IT admin. And again, if I had team viewer turned on on this account, you would have a button at the bottom that says initiate remote support. I would say 75% of my clients who are utilizing or using Mass360 to manage and secure Windows machines within their environment, not just the iOS and Android mobile phones, will be taking advantage of initiate remote support. It's an integration with TeamViewer. It is an add-on. It's $1 per device per month. But if a device is... If an employee is having an issue with their device and you need to fix it quickly and efficiently, all you would have to do is click initiate remote support. That would go through TeamViewer again, and you would have complete visibility and control over that device for troubleshooting purposes. And that's super crucial for a lot of my clients right now who are work working remote. I had one client who wasn't using TeamViewer within their environment, and what they were doing to troubleshoot devices is they had in-person service days where one day out of every week an IT support specialist would be in each office and if an employee was having an issue with the device they would go to the office closest to their house to have an IT admin physically touch and fix troubleshoot that device not all that efficient takes a ton of time for the employee and that IT admin where you could just come in here within mass 360 click initiate remote support and again, have complete visibility and control over that device. High level, what you could see and do to a specific machine within the device inventory page here. Security, let's go to policies. Because policies and security and compliance rules, this is the bread and butter of Mass360, where we're really going to tailor the tool to your needs. How restrictive or non-restrictive do you want to be and think of it like this if this is the first time you're looking at policies within mass 360 policies are the law and compliance rules compliance rules are what happens to a device or an employee if that law is broken set it and forget it mentality every time you're enrolling a new device into mass 360 you're not coming in to policies and manually creating a new policy to push that down to that device once those devices successfully, excuse me, enroll into Mass360, it knows 
what policies need to be pushed down into that device, what applications need to be pushed down into that device. All of that is going to happen automatically. We're going to scale as you scale. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to go into detail with policies in Boris. I'll go through a Windows policy on a high level and point out a few important policy features and toggles that most of my clients take advantage of within their MAS360 portal. There's about a thousand different policy configurations. Most of my clients, I need a couple dozen. And this is really where the free trial, the proof of concept comes into play. During our free trial, it's my job and it's my partner on the technical engineering team's job, Jason Testa, to make sure as we're going throughout that free trial that we're getting the policies set up. We're getting all, most of the work already done. So if you do decide to purchase Mass360 at the end of that free trial, we can move right into production and most of the work is already complete. Whatever you want restricted on these Windows machines, whether it's a 7, 10, Windows 11 now, chances are you can make that happen within Mass360. We're going to pop into a Windows 10 policy. Click View. And again, this is going to be high level overview of some of the important features that you could have and toggle on here within Mass360. Disable USB or SD card. Most of my clients will have this checked off. Now, I was working with financial service companies back in 2021. And one of my clients, they weren't utilizing Mass360 to manage and secure their Windows machines. They were utilizing Mass360 to manage and secure their iPhones and Android devices within their environment. They were using a legacy CMT tool to manage their Windows laptops. One of their employees, unfortunately, their laptop was stolen out of their car. The person who stole that device inserted a USB drive into that device and stole a lot of important information, both internally for that bank and externally pertaining to clients off that machine. Now, because they utilize Mass360 to manage their Windows machines along with those iOS and Android devices, we have this checked off. So the employee or someone who steals that machine will not have the ability to insert a USB or SD card and take any information off that device. So they're protected from that story going forward. And we would push that down to the device simply by hitting save and publish. And we would distribute it to a specific device, group of devices, or all devices, super easy to do. We do integrate with BitLocker. We can enforce device drive encryption and enforce removable drive encryption. And lastly, at the bottom here, again, as you can see, before I go to the bottom, there's lots of different options. There's lots going on here. The first time you look at this, it could seem a bit overwhelming. Again, it's my job and my team's job to make sure the right boxes are checked off, the right policies are pushed down to the right devices per your use cases, per how restrictive and non-restrictive you want to be. It's our job during the proof of concept to make sure most of this work is complete. Going to the bottom here. Most of my clients will have this checked off, allow auto updates of Windows Store apps. So it's super easy to keep, keep those Windows Store apps that you're pushing down to the machines from Mass360 fully up to date at all times. We go in here to advanced settings and we click on antivirus settings. This is where you're going to configure antivirus settings for Windows Defender. Now you do have to have Windows Defender licenses to configure these settings here within Mass360. If you have Windows 10 or 11, if that's what you're working with, Windows Defender comes baked into those Windows 10 and Windows 11 licenses. You'll have options for scan type, scan start time, and scan frequency. And again, these are 75 different configurations here within Mass360 that you could control for Windows Defender and push down into those machines via policy. Patches. There's two different ways to push down patches within Mass360. We can push down patches within 
automatic update here, allow automatic updates. I would say 50% of my clients take advantage of allowing automatic updates for patches with Windows machines, and you'll have options to configure install here. However, I have lots of clients who don't like to have this checked off. What they'll do is they'll do granular patch management. And we've all been there when Windows comes out with a half-baked patch. It gets pushed down to all of your employees' devices, and it screws the devices up. You as the IT admin have to go back, uninstall that patch, fix it, and then distribute it back out. A lot of time and energy and work on an IT admin's shoulders because Windows just came out with a half-baked patch, right? What a lot of clients I work with, what they'll do is granular patch management. These are all the OS patches for Windows on this page. They'll distribute this specific patch to a specific test device. It distribute, it'll up upload on that device. And then once they verify that that patch is good to go and they want that on every other device, you can distribute that to a device group where every device missing that patch Again, granular patch management is good if you're worried with those half-baked patches coming out through Windows. Lastly here, applications. This is where you could create your app catalogs. I have clients who create app catalogs per job function. So they'll create one app catalog for all, all their sales folks. They'll create one app catalog for all their operations folks and they'll push down those app catalogs. Or if you don't want to create an app catalog and you need certain applications installed on employees' devices, because they're corporate issued, we could push down applications for a silent install within Mass360. We integrate with all of the main app stores. In this case, we'll be working with the Windows Store here and Enterprise Apps. Whatever type of Windows application you have, MSI, executable, batch, script, file, we can distribute those via Mass360. So I have lots of clients who are distributing MSI files. So what they're going to do, it's super simple. They're going to upload that MSI file, input the information here. You could set it up for a silent install. And then they're going to distribute that MSI those specific device, group of devices, or all devices, hit add, and that will automatically push down into that device. It takes a minute or two to go live. That is high level how we manage and secure Windows, laptops, desktops within Mass360. If there's anything that needs further clarification, anything that came up, any ideas that came to mind as you watch this demo, and again, this is high level. When I'm meeting with clients, we're drilling into specific specifics here per their use case. But this is the standard Windows 10 demo. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think Mass360 can manage and secure your Windows 10 laptops? A lot of my clients are taking advantage of this now. A lot of my clients are currently in proof of concepts for Windows machines. In five years, when it comes to unified endpoint management, most clients right now, let me step, take a step back. Most of my clients are utilizing Mass360 to manage their mobile phones. Within five years, 90% of my clients will be managing not only mobile phones, but also their laptops and desktops within a UEM platform like a Mass360. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe, Hit that notification bell to be notified on a weekly basis. We're coming out with three to four videos on a weekly basis to help you either get a better understanding of what we're all about at Mass360 and the problems we solve and what it's going to look like within your environment. Or if you're a current Mass360 client utilizing the portal today within your environment, these videos are meant to help you become a better user of Mass360 for customer success. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.